Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Mice Toolkit. In this video, I want to show you how to work with Mice Toolkit. I want to show you how to create your first workflow and I want to show you how to view the result and save the result to disk. As a first step, let's go ahead and load some data into this empty workspace. Usually, you will access data through databases and the database panel can be found on the left. So here you select which database you are using. In this drop down menu, you can select the patients in the specific database. And then here in this panel, you can see all the exams and images connected to that patient. So I'm going to load a CT image into the workspace. I'm going to do that by selecting this CT image here and drag and drop it into the workspace. To load the image, I will press spacebar to execute the workflow. When the workflow has executed, we can see a green light in the upper right corner of the node. That means that the node has executed successfully. If we highlight this node, we can see the output in the image output panel in the lower right. As you can see, we have some numbers above the image here. They tell you the X, Y and Z voxel index and the voxel value where the cursor is. Now, let's say I want to segment the bone from this image. And in CT, bone has a Hounsfield unit of about 1000 and above. So in this case, I want to create a mask with voxel values of 1000 and above. And I can do that by going to image, convert to mask by threshold. When I select a node, I can see the settings of the node in the node settings panel. In this case, we set the division level to 1000 and we set the division type to higher or equal. So then I can connect the output from this node to the input of this node. And I do that by drag and dropping from the output connector of the first node to the input connector of the second node. And to release the node again, I just perform the same action again. So I drag and drop from the output to the input. But now we're going to execute the node. So I'm going to reconnect it and press spacebar to execute the workflow. If I highlight the node, we can see the output in the output panel again. Now this is a mask and instead of displaying voxel values, we can see that we display true or false. So this looks quite nice. We have segmented the bone in this image. Let's say we want to apply this mask to the image. You can do that by going to mask, apply to image. Now this node takes two inputs, the image and the mask. So I'm just going to connect them and then I'm going to hit spacebar to execute the workflow. If I highlight this node, we can go back down and we can actually see now that we have not a mask anymore, but just a segmented image. Now let's send this to the visualizer, which is a more advanced viewer than the one we have here. So I'm going to click visualize to take us to the visualizer. This is the visualizer. All images that are sent to the visualizer end up in the image sets panel in the upper left. To view an image, simply drag and drop from this panel onto any of the available viewports. You can use the scroll wheel to scroll up and down in the slices, or you can use a slider on the right. The number that follows my cursor around is the value of the voxel under my cursor. I can change the information that's displayed by clicking the tool button. I can see the patient information. I can see the patient orientation. I can see the voxel value, also the voxel index and the voxel position. Now I have a lot of information following my cursor around. So I'm going to turn that off for now. We can also view the image in different directions. We can see a coronal view or a sagittal view. We can also view the image in three dimensions by clicking the 3D button. We can rotate the image by drag and dropping. By double clicking in the viewport, we can zoom in to make the viewport the entire screen. And by double clicking again, we can go back. We can use the right mouse button to zoom in and out in the image. And we can use the middle mouse button to pan the image. We also see that we have a histogram here, so we can see the distribution of the voxel values in the selected image. Okay, now let's go back to the process window. So let's say we want to calculate some statistical properties from the image within the mask. We can do that by using a node called the statistics node. We find it in the image statistics statistics. The statistic node takes two inputs. 
the image and a mask and the mask input is optional. If we highlight the statistics node, we can see in the node settings that we can select what type of statistics we want to calculate within the mask. This looks fine, so I'm going to hit spacebar to execute the workflow. If we highlight the statistics node now, we can get a glimpse of what the statistics look like by going to the data output panel. We can see the patient ID, the patient name, and some statistical properties that we selected to calculate in the node settings. Now I want to export this to Excel, and I can do that by going to Data, Export, Excel. This export node takes one input, so I connect the output from the statistics node to the input of the Excel node. In the node settings of the Excel export node, I can select the path to where I want the file to be stored. Press spacebar to execute the workflow. And this is the Excel sheet that we just saved. So first we have some patient information and metadata. And after that, we have this statistical information that we chose to calculate. And this is just how easy it is to generate a mask from an image and then get some statistics from that mask. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. So thank you for watching.